Hello and welcome back to my channel. At the moment, hand gel is like rocking horse teeth to get hold of, and when you can, it's at exorbitant prices. So I thought in this video I'd show you how you could make your own. Now, if you get any bright ideas about selling this stuff, you might want to think twice. There's probably three lots of regulations that this has to adhere to before you can market it, and I'll put the information about that down in the description below. Basically, hand sanitizer is a high strength alcohol, typically isopropyl alcohol, and this is 99.9% .9 minimum strength. You could just use isopropyl alcohol on its own, however, it has an astringent value and it will dry your skin up very, very quickly. So, typically, it's mixed with something like aloe vera gel. Initially, I had some difficulty in finding aloe vera gel. And then I discovered we'd got this after sun. And basically, it's aloe vera gel with a little bit of witch hazel in it. And it says it cools, soothes, and heals. It's quickly absorbed and has an immediate effect. Now, the whole idea of this is this will stop your hands from drying out. For hand sanitizer to kill germs, it does need to be a minimum of 60% strength. This is nearly 100% strength and we need to keep it at a 60%. So the way to do that is make sure that whatever we're mixing with it drops that percentage down to no less than 60. So if we use two thirds isopropyl alcohol and one third aloe vera gel, we should be okay. We're also going to need something to put the hand sanitizer in. And if you've got an old soap dispenser, that would work perfectly fine. However, I found this little set of bottles at my local home bargains for 99p, and you get three bottles, one with a pump dispenser. So, although it does say shower gel, etc., on it, they're going to be perfect for what we need. To start with, we need something to mix it in, we need a spoon to mix it up with and we need a measuring cup. And I can't stress enough how important it is that all these implements are thoroughly clean, as are your hands, because we're making hand sanitizer, and I know it's got sanitizing properties, but you don't want anything untowards getting in there. So I'm going to put half a litre of isopropyl alcohol, And I'm going to put 250 millilitres of this gorgeous green aloe vera gel with tea tree oil. Doesn't matter what measurements you use as long as there's twice as much alcohol to the gel if you're using 99.9%. And then add that to the alcohol. And basically we're just going to stir this together. As you can see, this is far more runny than the hand sanitizer you get in the shops. And that's just something we're going to have to live with. Just make sure all the gel is thoroughly dissolved into the alcohol before you decant it out. It's worth using a wrist to thoroughly combine the alcohol and the gel together. just a matter of carefully decanting some into bottles. And putting the lid back on. Now 
the final thing to do is just add a label so you know that it's hand sanitizer and nothing else. Please remember that hand sanitizer isn't a substitute for washing your hands. Make sure that you keep up to date with the latest government guidelines. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.